Mimi yangu ni kuwasalimia tu na kumkaribisha mgeni wetu. Yes. Kumwambia tuko pamoja na yeah. nimefurahi sisi huonana tu kwa mtandao. Yes. Lakini leo Mungu ni mema ametukutanisha macho kwa macho. Yeah. Tuko pamoja na tutasaidia na hii safari. Bad things about TikTok. Yeah. And uh, we decided rather than leave our youth alone. Mm. Uh, with all the accusations and bad things we were hearing yeah. we get there and try and clean it yeah. so we moved there with under the hashtag clean with our, our gen c's they are young people yeah. i'm a father to gen c's yeah. so we decided to bring them together and help them and guide them yeah. sometimes we would uh, hold meetings there and buy them water and yeah. the mask when they are going for those uh, demonstrations yeah. but also guide them to be safe Hello nice people, we are right here at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, of course, with one of the biggest guests and we are recognized Dr. Ezekiel Mtua is also here with us, the legend uh, Mama Kayai. But before that, let's say hi to our guest. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm fine. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Probably you can introduce yourself to people who do not know uh, who you are. Well, I go by Solomon Omboto, yes. but uh, I'm myogenic himself. I'm uh, the guy who's running the myogenic company. Yes. Yes. Uh, probably you can tell us uh, what you are, you are here to do here in Kenya. What, what is your uh, trip all about here in Kenya? Well, my trip in Kenya is to come and uh, actually, that's where I'm from, mm -hmm. but I'm coming to nature talent yes. and tap the talent that is in Kenya mm -hmm. and close the gap and be able to bring the folks who are talented across the board. Yes. Yes. I've seen you are, you are going to different counties in search of uh, local talents. Maybe you can tell us uh, more about it. Yes, uh, we managed to, uh, to start this um, very myogenic in, back in uh, uh, March. Yes. That's why we started with 001, Mombasa County. Yeah. And then uh, we climbed up to Nakuru County. Yes. Then uh, we went down to Kisi and then uh, we went to Kakamega. Wow. So we did that in a span of uh, two months. Yes. Then we took a break. Of course, I went back to U.S. Yeah. to kind of, you know, break the act also on the other side yeah. and set the ground for myogenic. Uh -huh. Yes, but now, I think because uh, my brother is here, yeah. I think I'm going to Machakos County. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow. Yes. And of course, the talents, the local uh, Kenyans with great talents, uh, maybe they would ask, what specific thing are you looking into when you're searching for this uh, special talent? Well, we're looking for comedy, stand-up comedy, um, musician, yeah. people who can sing, people who can rap, yeah. people who can uh, do spoken word, mm -hmm. people who can uh, dance yeah. and uh, acrobat. I think that's where we are right now. But in the future, yeah. we're going to do maybe soccer uh -huh. and uh, maybe marathons yeah. and stuff like that. Wow. Yeah. And then now, after identifying this uh, talent, what is, what, what is going to be the next step? Probably, uh, will they? I saw you uh, You said that you, want to, you wanted to partner with uh, international uh, people. So will they also go abroad or what is happening with the talent? Yes. Pretty much, we, we want to get this kid who is talented. Yeah. And then brand him. Get him to know their rights. Yes. Number one, as you see, we have the CEO of um, a music copyright. Yeah. We get them to to join the uh, the, the the music copyright. Yes. Get registered yes. so that they know what they they, are, they because many Kenyans they do entertainment. They do their talent for just entertainment, yeah. but we want to teach them the business side of entertainment. Wow. It's not just entertainment. Yes. So you need to earn money from this talent. Yeah. Then also. Don't just think, oh, because you are coming from the village and you made it to Nairobi, that is the end. No, we want to take you further from Nairobi and take you to outside the country. Yeah. Right. Okay, I saw you said that you wanted to meet with Dr. Ezekiel Mutu, and of course he's right here at Ajomo Kenyatta to meet you, you know, to receive you. From Dr. Tari, you can tell us more about today. Uh, we are very happy to receive uh, Solo Genius, we yes. call him, on TikTok. Yes. First of all, we met on TikTok. Wow. <laughs> all right? Yes. Uh, about a month ago, I didn't even know about this team and myogenic. Yeah. But when we met on TikTok, and you know, everyone just strolled in and found uh, every, every other person and yeah. we became friends. Yes. And so when we learned what he's doing, uh, nurturing talents and learning that he's working yeah. with this great team, yeah. uh, we embraced Solo Genius. Or Solomon, as he's known, yes. and decided to uh, work together. Wow. The whole idea about identifying and nurturing talent yes. is what we stand for. Yeah. In this era of joblessness in this country, where many youths do not have employment, yeah. I think uh, 
partnering with people yeah. like uh, solo genius yeah. is the way to go to ensure that we use the private sector and uh, our our diaspora yeah. uh, Kenyans yeah. to support yeah. uh, young people here in Kenya mm -hmm. and they cannot be it cannot be done in a structured way like the way they are doing yeah. uh, I think uh, since the era of uh, since the time of COVID we have learned about partnership and engagement yeah. as the way to build wealth and uh, in this creative economy sector you know that uh, globally the creative economy has never been built by government if you look at Hollywood it was built by the private sector Bollywood, Nollywood in Nigeria. Uh, even here in Kenya, if we are going to move to the next level with a creative economy, we are going to need the private sector. And as MCSK, we have embraced what Solo Genius is doing through Myogenic. Wow. We are going to partner together and work together. Yeah. You can see in that TikTok group, we have even people like Mama Kayae. Yes, yeah. and, and the whole idea is to nurture these talents and yes. advise them, mentor them, yes. and ensure that we work with partners like uh, uh, organizations like Myogenic to take this to the next level so we are seeing a lot of uh, great things coming out of this in terms of mentorship in terms of identifying nurturing talent organizing awards uh, creating opportunities for exposure taking our musicians and our uh, comment our comedians to the u.s and uh, linking them with other people yeah. and we hope by so doing we are going to create opportunities for employment for yeah. our youth yeah. yeah probably mama kai i know most of the kenyans are happy to see you you can greet us and Mie yangu ni kuwasalimia tu na kumkaribisha mgeni wetu. Yes. Kumwambia tuko pamoja na yeah. nimefurahi sisi huonana tu kwa mtandao. Yes. Lakini leo Mungu ni mama ametukutanisha macho kwa macho. Yeah. Tuko pamoja na tutasaidia na hii safari. Wow. Yeah, wa That's Kenya right. wale wanajua wana talent. Mm -hmm. Kaini tayari sasa tuko barabarani. Yes. Yeah. Probably, uh, uh, Nimeske, you've said that you are starting with uh, Machakos, if I'm not wrong. No, we are, since I'm one. here and I come from okay. Machakos. Yeah. And you know Machakos? Machakos has been actually the among the counties in Kenya. Mm -hmm. I think Machakos is the most structured. Yeah. Remember, we have uh, uh, the park, the Machakos People's Park, yeah. which is actually uh, 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 structured mm -hmm. to promote creative economy, and there's a huge place where people can. So I'll just be able to connect with the uh, connect uh, myogenic yeah. with uh, the, the the governor. And because I come from there, I mean, I, I'm involved yes. in uh, promoting talent in that yes. county. Yeah. So in terms of going to the counties, Machakos is, a, is the easiest <laughs> to access <laughs> yeah. because I'm, I come yes. from there yeah. and our governor is very committed yeah. to nurturing talent. Yeah. Yeah. And probably uh, maybe the Kenyans who are really uh, looking up to this, uh, you visiting them in their counties. Uh, is there a social media page where they should follow up in order to know where the specific probably uh, event will be taking place? Yes, we do have a myogenic uh, YouTube channel. Uh, we do have uh, IG, yeah. myogenic. Uh, we have uh, Facebook, yeah. myogenic. So everywhere myogenic. Yeah. And uh, we have our office. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll, I think um, just uh, if they subscribe on YouTube channel and uh, Facebook page, mm -hmm. they'll be able to get all the info they need yeah. uh, where we are. Uh, where we're going next yeah. and what we're doing okay yes next time we've been seeing you a lot on tiktok uh, th that is where you actually met <laughs> yeah, exactly. how is tiktok so far you go live i mean we got there intentionally we, we 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 have been hearing a lot of bad things about tiktok yeah. and uh, we decided rather than leave our youths alone mm. uh with all the accusations and bad things we were hearing yeah. we get there and try and clean it yeah. so we moved there with under the hashtag clean airwaves okay. and uh, partnered with a lot of youth yeah. in that tiktok platform actually our um, our administrators are Gen Z's, Gen Rose, uh, Joy Grace here, yeah. and uh, Poki. Where are they? They are just around here. Yeah. They are the administrators. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea is to bring sanity yeah. to TikTok, to use that platform yeah. to nurture talents, networking, yeah. instead of just using it to uh, promote vulgarity and obscenity. Yeah. And it's out of that we were able to meet Mama Kayae. Yeah. We normally uh, identify uh need the cases mm -hmm. and we see how to support them we identify talent we bring the youths there we listen to them yeah. and as a result we have been able to link up with the uh, uh, solo uh, solomon here yeah. who is uh, now in kenya and is going to do a, a great thing in um, hosting sure. that platform now from home yes. and uh, meeting uh, the people that he has been meeting on yeah. tiktok so this is great really we are looking forward to great yeah. time of interaction yeah. and uh, talents will be nurtured yes. and taken to the next level yes. yeah you know dr you've just mentioned gen z you know i'd yes. love just to hear your point of what is happening in the country you know uh, i saw you the other day saying that you know gen z should have their leaders so yeah. far so good uh what is your thought on all that has been happening the last two weeks the the, the, the gen z have uh, turned the history of kenya 
I think this is a new page and we are not going back. Yeah. So we are very proud of what our agencies have done. Yeah. And uh, we are supporting them. Like you have heard, uh, our, our administrators on our TikTok platform yeah. uh, are agencies. They are young people. Yeah. I'm a father to Gen Cs. Yeah. So we decided to bring them together and help them and guide them. Yeah. Sometimes we would uh, hold meetings there and buy them water and yeah. the mask when they are going for those uh, demonstrations. Yeah. But also guide them to be safe sure. and ensure that they don't endanger their lives. They yeah. don't use bad language. Yeah. And we want to uh, support them. I believe uh, every revolution yeah. requires a leader. I've yeah. never heard of any revolution. Yeah. And, uh, and our take is what they have done so far, amazing stuff. Yeah. We can take it to the next level by ensuring that we look at shared values yeah. and people yeah. with similar ambitions yeah. who want to see a better Kenya. Uh -huh. Whether you are old or young, I think injustice is injustice to all. Joblessness is affecting both the parents and the young people. Yeah. So we can team up with people who, we, uh, we, people with shared values who see yeah. who want to see a better Kenya. Yeah. No matter your age or class or tribe, yeah. let us not say we don't need a leader. The, you, the leadership is not about somebody taking credit or a politician. Yeah. But among the agencies, they can identify one of them and they tell us how we can support, yeah. how we can mentor them. Yeah. What do they need from us? The way they called the president and they were able to speak yeah. to him very openly. Yeah. We believe that now going to the, to, to, to the future, it's important mm -hmm. for us to crystallize this into a structured movement yeah. that will identify issues, yeah. not attacking, not uh, using bad language, but identify the issues and deal with the issues. And when you are dealing with the issues, then the issue of age doesn't matter. Yeah. We all subscribe to what Gen Z's are pushing yes. and we are going to support them. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I think now uh, Solo has been uh, in a long yes. time. for now, so we should uh, carry on. Yeah, so yes, he has had a very long Probably, flight. Yeah. We'll give you yeah. some, some time for, for, for another interview. Yeah. But for now, I'd, I'd like to ask so that we can proceed on. Okay. Thank, of course, my family, my loving wife, uh, Caroline Omboto from the United States Army. And of course, I'm also a retired uh, United States veteran. I want to also thank my sons who are able to work with me through this journey and let me you know have this time to also take care of the other you know people yeah. and also i want to thank my team jim watt uh, uh the here yeah. and uh rafiga has been uh actually i met with rafiga uh two days before i flew back to the united states yes and we we landed and we started doing things really quick he's the one who actually has coordinated this so i want to thank him yeah. uh my uh digital yeah uh, it's uh, also been very grateful. Overall, I want to thank everybody that will support in my organic. Let's support this course so that we can support one another and give one another a better op opportunity. Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Have a great time. Thank you. So much. Uh,